would think that, you know, if, if the Sahabi saw a woman from a mile away, he went the other way and made istighfar the whole night. No, it wasn't like that. They interacted with each other, they talked to each other, they worked with each other, they were in business partnerships. All kinds of interactions happened between men and women, but with principles. It was respectful, it was dignified. And when a companion, when, when somebody liked somebody else, you know what they did? Here's the astaghfirullah part. Here's what they did. Hey, I like you. You want to get married? And she'd say, um, maybe, talk to my dad. He'd say, okay. And then you go to the dad and say, hey, I, I like your daughter. And she's, I mean, I talked to her, she's not entirely opposed to the idea. Is it cool? And he says, let me talk to my daughter. How this happens today in London, is you go to a girl, respectfully, hey, we worked together for three years. Would you consider marrying me? And she's like, uh. <laughs> And maybe she says, please don't talk to my dad, he'll kill me. Because if you talk to my dad, he'll say, this is why you go to work? This is why we sent you to uni? Like, you fathers, I have four daughters. I have four daughters. Listen, those of you that are fathers, that have daughters, you sent your daughters to university. You brought your daughters to this country. You made them live here. You brought, you took them outside in society. You made that decision. And when somebody like a Muslim likes them, that's a good thing. How are they going to get married sitting at home? Who's going to like them? So when somebody approaches them in a respectful way, you should not say, Oh my God, the day has come. Astaghfirullah. You know, ye din bhi dekhne the. Oh, toba toba. You know, what a humiliation. Now we have to go take you back into Bangladesh and hide you in a village somewhere because <laughs> some guy likes you. Astaghfirullah. You know, and there's a, you know, somebody's in Rukia on her and calm down. It's okay. You're, somebody likes your daughter, that's a good thing. Now you're going to investigate, find out. It's completely fine. The only rishta mentioned in the Quran, the only approach mentioned in the Quran is that of Musa alayhi salam in Madian. He was by himself, Musa was by himself. And these girls were by themselves working outside. And he went up to them and helped them out. And the girl said, he's kind of nice. And she, she went back to her dad and said, hire him. Which means, come on dad. <laughs> you know. And that happened, and the girl said, I like the guy. That's actually what happened in the story of Musa. Musa didn't propose, the girl proposed. And the father can't propose unless he has the approval of his daughter. So it's okay for your girls to say, Dad, there's this guy, this brother, at the MSA, yeah? <laughs> uh, he does the, he's a Thursday halakha. It's really good, you should come. Your daughter's telling you something. It's okay, go attend the halakha. It's okay, find out. Don't complicate this. There's nothing indignified about that. Don't go date a girl now. And don't take, oh, son, no man gave a lecture, I'm gonna take you out to dinner. No, no, no. Not that either. But can you have respectful interaction with someone you're interested in for marriage? Absolutely. Absolutely. Nothing wrong with that. Can you take your time to understand each other's likes and dislikes? Yes, it's fine. Respectful courtship is okay. With parental guidance, with indignified fashion, there's nothing wrong with it. So what happens is, we have two extremes. We have people that are more conservative than the Sahaba. And then we have people that are more liberal than liberals. Okay, and the Islam is right in between, it's a natural way.